Hello, in this video we are going to continue with the legs. So I'm going to select this guy here, duplicate it, snap it, down, C, middle mouse, and drag it in. And then I'm going to snap it only on that direction, then V, middle mouse. So hopefully you understand the importance of snapping. It's really useful for a lot of things in Maya. So get the snapping down. Um, and I'm going to duplicate this again. Snap it to that middle one. Duplicate it, and I'm going to snap it to the grid. Hold down X. get it to her or I can snap it to this one um, to snap to a joint you hold down V for vertex or that's also joint there we go so now that's there um, what we want is something similar to this where Z is pointing down to the base um, so what we'll need to do is go to the aim constraint I I think that's what down here. You can go to constraint here, aim. Um, now I need to set this. I think I want Y to be up, Z to be down. So I'm gonna have whatever it's pointing to and what's pointing. So pointing to, pointing. So now that's Z, X, and Y. That's what we want. Y going up, X coming towards us and Z towards the joint and then this one will have to do some fixing but I'll select that one so this and then this apply and something like this so I tried to do this off camera before and I was having a hard time figuring out the settings in here if you're having a hard time what you can do is rotate this. I'm going to go to discrete rotation and I want this Y to go up and Z to go down. And that was really hard to do. So I'm going to, so I want this to kind of flow down. This is looking right. And then I'm just going to rotate this until it's 90 degrees like that. So that's what I want. And then um, I'm not actually going to be using this joint, this tip joint. So I'm just going to delete it. Okay. A lot of tip joints you don't really need um, because this is where the rotation is happening. Um, but now um, you might notice we have these rotation um, values in here, which we don't want. Um, and this is what you would make sure to get rid of at the end. And the way to get rid of that is by going over and going to modify freeze transformations and that gets rid of the rotations and scales um, the translations are there they don't get rid of um, you can't get rid of those because they are needed so you'll have to do this for all your joints um, you usually do this at the end or you can do it midway if you want but you just go to um, modify freeze transformations and then also do a delete all history um, is always a good thing to do once in a while, but definitely do it before we do get into the skinning part. Um, so now let's do the naming. Um, I think in a previous version also uh, I do have the tip. So it's it's kind of, um, it's nice for visualization. So you could duplicate this and just bring it down now that we have a good um, LRA rotate location local rotation access for this one and we can just snap it to the bottom like this if you want um, it's not super necessary though it's just for um, visual clarity I guess um, so this I'm gonna do MA leg a um, and then underscore top And then I'll just name something like this, mid, and 
go tip. So then I will just put mid underneath top, A underneath mid, or tip underneath mid. So you should have a chain like this. And it's always a good idea just to try out the rotation and see what it's like. So is that acting the way that you would expect? And I think it does. So now I'm just gonna group this. And the nice thing about grouping for this instance is it's going to the middle of the world, which that's where we want the pivot to go to. And I'm gonna duplicate it and rotate it till it gets to the center. Duplicate, rotate, duplicate, rotate, duplicate, rotate, duplicate, rotate. And there we go. Um, so I'll go over how to download my um, shelf for the next video so that we can get good naming in a faster way. All right, see ya.